Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be going over a... You can call it just a key case. And the maker of this key case is called Stauber. As the Stauber key, key case I ordered off of Amazon to replace my Lexus key. If you have a Lexus or a Toyota... Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me, let me focus here. I'm doing the focus manually, okay? So, bear with me. So, if you have... Um, there we are. So, if you have a Lexus or a Toyota key, you may have experienced this. I've had three Lexus vehicles and they all have done this break right there where you turn the thing, it cracks. You can see the previous owner tried to glue this thing together. Let's see, this one here. Uh, yeah, right there. And uh, this is actually not even put together. I, this is one of the keys I replaced. So, anyway, uh, this is to replace this. Now, instead of going to the dealership and buying an entire, entirely new key for $300, um, you know, you could just get a new case. They have cases at the dealership also that supposedly never break. And the question is, well, if you know you have key cases that never break, why don't you use them on these expensive cars? But they don't. They will sell you the actual case, the shell, for $150. And this you can find on Amazon for, and let's just round up and say tax, so it'll make it $10. Okay, and if you want two of them, it's, let's round up again and say $17. So, I bought three because, well, I think I have four because I need, I, I just, just how many keys I needed. Um, now, let's move these out of the way. Now, I made a video already for this, but the video came out terrible, and a lot of the packaging and stuff is already gone. And as you can see, I've already replaced two of the keys, um, two or, or three of them. I honestly just don't know what the other key is. Uh, so, what I wanted to do now, I'm just going to actually disassemble one so you can see how easy it works. And we will go from there. So what I'm going to do is just take this apart. Now, you're going to need a T8. T is in Tom. Uh, and the number 8 Torx uh, screwdriver. Uh, it actually comes with one. But <clears throat> I prefer, the <clears throat> prefer this one. The one it comes with comes in like a... Uh, it's like an Allen key. So, I'm just going to... Loosen all these up here. So, there's not any extra pressure on one particular side. And then you just pull it apart. And that's kind of it. So, <clears throat> it comes with just all this stuff kind of in the bag with the screws and your screwdriver or your little allen key um, and here's something I wanted to go over because the very first key that I tried to replace did not look like this these will only work with uh, original Lexus or Toyota keys this is what one of the keys looked like it had just this long skinny stock and instead of this T flare here and this comes from someone, the previous owner, replacing one of the keys and it was, you know, not original and it came like this. This key, there's pretty much nothing you can do with. I have to actually just get another key. Um, what I'm doing, and that actually came from this one, as you can see, it still has the buttons and stuff. And it still works, you know, it's just I can't turn it. So... I have this one of the uh, uh, regular keys without the button, so I just kind of stick this on the keychain with the regular key, and boom, I have the remote. Uh, growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, I mean, that's how keys were anyway. Most of them weren't built in, so you had a key and you had a remote, and that's, that's fine. So if yours is like this, this will not work. So, it, you know, you might want to check first before you buy this, because honestly, they, they're so cheap. I mean... Who wants to go through the trouble of returning it? So I would just kind of check and see, but uh, you just, you know, you take the screw out here and then just kind of crack it open. 
Uh, well, actually, honestly, when you open up, this is going to be inside of the case. You really won't know. You really have to break the key to find out whether this is this. But if you know that you're the original owner of the key of the car and the key, you know, it came from Lexus or whatever, then you should be fine. So it has its teeth flare and it comes with um, also some little, uh, and I don't really want to call them washers, but they're like some spacers and actually, apparently I didn't use them. Uh, they're very clear and they sit inside this little, raise it up here. Okay, I guess this is as good as it's going to get. This little T guy, there you go. This T here, there's a little clear spacer you can put in there to make sure the key is extra snug. I didn't need that, apparently. So, you just put it in there. They'll tell you, you just put the key in there. It comes with instructions. You just put it in there and you hold it together to see if it's snug. If it's not snug, which this one is, then you put the spacer in there. So, you would take your key apart, make sure it's this T, then you would take your remote out and just lay it in there. There's only one way you can go in where the buttons fit and you just put the key inside, lay it inside the T part and put the back cover on there hold it down put one screw in, don't screw it in tight just kind of get it in there to hold everything in place and do the next screw diagonally I'm going to do it diagonally so it's even and do this one just like how you would with the with changing a tire you kind of want to go in a star pattern so you don't get put any extra pressure on one end of the key and then on this last one we can go ahead and tighten that in don't over tighten it and then the star pattern again make sure they're snug but don't use Hulk or Superman strength, it's kind of regular. And there you go, that's it. Now, pros, it feels sturdy. I mean, for $10, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, now, the only thing is, it's ugly. I hate this shape, I really do, it's, it's terrible. Um, this is uh, one of the, another key of mine that, I don't even know what car this goes to. I, I have two Lexus. Lexus vehicles. You gotta say Lexus vehicles because saying Lexuses is weird. I have two Lexuses. But I have two Lexus vehicles. One is a truck and one is a car. I don't know which one this is. Uh, this is still the... I'm sorry. This is still the original key. And it just looks better. I mean, I like the shape. This goes to the truck. I like the shape much better. Uh, from the original and then of course it's a Lexus key um, this one's just blank nothingness uh, but you can get these covers now this is the starboard and I put the cover on there and it doesn't really fit you see it sticks out here and it looks a little square top but in my opinion it still looks better than this and at least I still know what I'm driving um, then also, I can't have just three of these lying around because just make it like that because I don't know what car it goes to. I'm not going to kind of look at the buttons because the truck doesn't have the trunk release. But yeah, I put these on there to know which key goes to what. Uh, the truck has the covers on it. So you can get these covers. I saw these. The, the, the person I bought the truck from gave these to me. But... You can get them off Amazon too, they're extra cheap and I'll leave a link to those too as well. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, you know, this is helpful. I know this is incredibly helpful for me. Most people don't actually have a problem with the key functioning themselves. So, so you don't have to go and get a key cut and get anything reprogrammed. You can just simply buy a new case. They're, I mean, incredibly cheap, incredibly easy. You just saw me take it apart and put it back together. It's very easy. And yeah, you be ready to go in about five minutes so hopefully this was helpful uh you can stay tuned for more videos and i'll see you guys next time